This is part three to uh, He Ain't God. <laughs> okay? Now, it's part three to He Ain't God. And this has pissed me off because, like I said, I've seen so many people jocking this person. But let me get back on point. I was talking about violence. Now, if you gave everybody a card with their identification on it, blah, 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 and it's worth X amount of dollars and yada, 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 you know what I mean? You can also track that person by the card. This card is the American government card. It's the America's card where the government itself is giving back to the economy. You let people spend the money that you give them. People without a bank account would have this card with their credits on it worth X amount of dollars. And all these dollars would go back into the economy. If you want to steer people and do something wrong to the American people, you give the money that the American people have paid throughout history to the companies in which the American people have been paid into. That's the greatest slap in the face of every American alive. To take our money and give it to the companies in which we have been paying everything to throughout our own existence. You know what I mean? Way back in the days, everybody had Fords and Chevys. Everybody. Everybody was trying to get them back in the day. Way when I was growing up in the 70s, we had the Chevys and the Fords and shit. We bought them. We still buy them. There's a Ford outside my house right now. The Cadillac in the driveway. There's a Pontiac in the driveway. Did I say Mitsubishi? Did I say Tundra? I didn't say that. Why should I bail these people out? I got their products in front of my fucking house. I did bail them out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I did my thing to help Christ learn all them out. I got them all in front of the house. You know? The housing market. I was telling my brother last night, if you pay your mortgage, and what? He only got like a, a couple, they, they bought their house in, in, in the 70s. He only got five or six payments left since the 70s. You know what I'm saying? They, they almost done. What if your bank go down and some other company come in and seize all the bank's assets and properties? Throw everybody the fuck out. They can't do that. I'm like, yes, they can. I pay my bills like the banks don't. That's like renting a room from somebody and they get kicked out. You got to go. But they giving the banks money. My whole idea on the whole situation is now, if you want to help the American people, you give the American people money. There's a million ways you can give us the money. Not just black people. Obama! Not just black. Everybody gets some fucking money. And if you got a couple millions, you ain't getting shit. Sorry. You got money. You broke? I want my $350,000. Where am I going to put it? In the bank. If I don't want to put it in the bank, give it to me on the damn card. I will go use it. Right back into the economy. Give the people the option to bail out the companies that deserve to survive. That's what I'm saying. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. The mind control, tracking device card idea, I'm sorry. It's going to happen anyway. If you're going to have to have a card, they might as well... Put my money on my card. Give me my card. I go to the bank and transfer it to the bank. They know where my money at. I will put it in the fucking bank. The same ones that you gave money to. That won't give me a loan if I need one. But if you gave me the money, I'd have to put it in their bank. Then they can give somebody else a loan. But if I wanted to take it out, I'd probably have to put it in another bank. No, I'd put it back on my American ID government card. I show the fuck what. If you want to track me, give me my motherfucking piece of the pie so I can fix the economy. Track me. And when I'm out of money, shit, fuck it. You know where I'm at. I can still use the card. Go <laughs> ahead. Might have to use the card. My driver's license identification might be on. The blood type, if I get in a car accident, might be on the car. You know what I mean? Next to Ken, I, you know, Phone numbers are on the card. 
pictures of when I was a kid was on the card. You know? Whatever. I don't give a fuck. All I know is this. These people over the last so many hours have been jocking Obama so much that I'm getting Obama aches. Okay? Like a headache. I'm tired of hearing about Obama gonna save the world with no money. Because by the time Obama's the president, we're gonna be bailing out the oil companies. Well, we got what? Oh, what? How many more days left? He's gonna have to bail out the oil companies. Oh, Levi Strauss, um, they're going out of business. Uh, can you bail them out? Can you bail out Mervyn's? But you know, hey, you know, the man, he can only do so much. And I'm tired of people making him out to be all mythological. Obama, remember when he walked across the oil slick in Texas in 2010? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Obama, come on, man. He's a man in the suit. He's the manager of the United States of America. Oh, president is bigger than manager? No. He's getting his team together. He's going to manage these people to manage these people. He's a diplomat. Come on, man. Obama's not God. He's just a man trying to be the next president of the United States of America. Don't make him out to be some super president. Don't. Come on. Well, who's the last president that, that got it? Who's, who's the last president that started out like this? With no money, fighting two wars, broke. And if you want to, you know what? If you want to make one stereotype, I'm going to tell you what an old man told me. Before there's a black man and a president of the United States of America, there'll be a hole big enough to fly a plane through it. That's what this guy said. I swear I was 13 years old. What if that hole was dead? We in such a big hole, you could fly an airplane in it. And that much, that's how much debt we're in. You, just, you can drop something down the debt we got, and it'd be 60 years before you hit the bottom of it. You'd be, you'd be listening to be old and shit when you stop listening to it. You drop something down. Twenty years later, boom, someone has just blown up something. <laughs> like shit. It's you know, come on, man. Stop jocking Obama. He's a regular man. He just happens to be black, and now the president of the United States. Obama is not God. He's a regular guy. He's a regular guy just like you and me. Except for he lives better than you and I do, and he wouldn't need an American ID card with money on it. He's just a regular guy. He's trying to do the best he can for all the people of America. He is our number one diplomat. He's the manager of our tri trailer park. Biggest trailer park on the fucking planet. That's what I said in part two. And that's all it is, man. Let this man do his job. Don't build him up so high when he can't do something. You'd be like, oh, he can't do it. See, I told you he would fail. So stop giving the man more credit. Let him do his job first before you try to make him all biblical. Because I'm just tired of hearing it. I'm tired of hearing of all the great stuff he's going to do and all this and that. Let him do it. Leave him alone. Don't. I mean, don't give him credit for the prices of gas going down and then tell him he's turning around the economy. The man ain't even the president yet. Let him do his job before you pass judgment on him. Before you make him like, oh, mama's so great. Uh, when he took off from the White House, he didn't even use a plane. He just started flying by himself. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm tired of hearing people talk of him like that. Let the man do his job first before you blow him out of proportion. Oh, mama the great. Let him become great before you say he's great. Let him do his job first. Let him try to get us out of this debt. Let him try to fix it. Let him, let him he ain't gonna give the American people a million dollars. He ain't gonna give the American people no money to turn America around. 
But understand what I said though. 